Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Now, this is just a little editorial. Uh, many people here online have privately expressed outrage to me about what happened in the recent IBF super featherweight title fight between reigning champion Argentes Mendez and challenger Rances Barthelemy. Now it's taken me a few days to catch up with the video of this fight and it's outrageous. As boxing fans we really need to protect the integrity of the sport and keep the pressure on the governing bodies to do the right thing to enforce their own rules. Now let me just put it this way. If me and four of my friends played the defending champion Miami Heat, no matter how heroic we were during the game, no matter how good we played, if regulation ends, the red light goes on on the back of the backboard and me or one of my friends then hits a jumper one second after the end of regulation that basket can't be allowed what we did the rest of the game doesn't justify allowing a basket after time expires Right? The intent of the parties doesn't matter. The referee could mean well. Quite frankly, he doesn't have the power. He doesn't have the authority to allow baskets after the expiration of time. Right? So intent is irrelevant. How well we looked is completely irrelevant right I could D up LeBron James that's great if I'm trying to beat LeBron James I have to do so before the time expires I can't do so after the time expires that's just the way it is that's why it's a timed sport let's shift gears to boxing if I fight Floyd Mayweather, and let's say I'm hanging tough, I'm fighting the fight of my life, right? If the end of the 12th round happens, if that bell rings, I can't take Floyd's title by hitting him with a punch after the bell rings to end the fight in the 12th round. Right? Because we all understand, once the fight ends, it's over. You don't win titles after the end of rounds. Well, understand that logic applies to the second round. Right? If I'm the champion, no matter how bad or how good I have looked during the round, an opponent cannot take my title with a punch after the bell. Right? The referee doesn't have the authority to allow punches after the bell. I know they tell you to protect yourself at all times. But even if I drop my hands after the bell, understand the fight's not taking place between rounds. Right? We have three minute rounds. We don't have three minute and one second rounds, right? I don't care if the other fighter is in the middle of a combination. Once the bell sounds, the round is over. Now, unfortunately, in this Rances Bartholomew, Argentes Mendez fight, Mendez loses his title on a punch that takes place after the bell sounded 
to end the second round. Right? Think about it. Mendez doesn't get drilled with the knockout punch during the round. In my opinion, that's all you need to know about this fight. Right? No matter how he looked earlier in the round. You know, even though he gets knocked down earlier in the round, just know that when the bell sounds to end the round, Mendez is still on his feet. He hasn't been hit with the knockout punch. The knockout punch hasn't been delivered. Right? And so, when he gets hit with the punch after the end of the round, that punch can't count. Right? The knockout can't count. The referee, at that point, in my opinion, doesn't have discretion to even start a 10 count. Because the punch is an illegal punch. The punch is the equivalent of a shot that doesn't happen in basketball until after time expires. Right? If that ball is still in your hands when time expires, then whatever shot you take doesn't count. Right? All of the arguments here online about the fact that Bartholomew was dominating the fight missed the point entirely, right? The point is simply that he didn't throw the knockout punch until after the end of the round. Folks, the fight's televised. There's a film clip here. I've posted a link to it online that clearly shows that the punch wasn't thrown until after the end of the round. If the punch doesn't count, then the knockout doesn't count. And all I could say is as bad as Mendez looked, he had the belt on when entering the ring. He was the champion. He hasn't lost that belt. Now, he has filed a formal appeal to the IBF. The IBF needs to do the right thing here. Mendez needs to be reinstated as the champion at Super Featherweight. Because, quite frankly, you cannot lose your belt after a round ends on a punch that's not even thrown until after the round ends. Let me also point out, too, that the fighters in the ring should be able to rely on the bell. Right? When you hear the bell, first of all, there's a clapper 10 seconds before the round ends. That should alert the fighters and the referee to the fact that the round's about to end. Right? 10 seconds early. Then, a fighter who hears the bell should be able to rely on the bell. It's just like blowing a whistle in the NFL. You hear the whistle, you understand the play is dead. Right? Even if the guy blowing the whistle has made a mistake. Well, in boxing, if you're in the ring and you hear the bell sound, you should be able to rely on that bell being sounded. Right? So the point is, you don't even have to officially time the round. All you have to do is listen for the bell. And you understand that any punch thrown after that bell sounds cannot be the basis of a knockout victory. It simply can't. Right? Let me also point out, too, that I know there are those who believe that the ref has, a, you know, has discretion to stop a fight. But here, 
the referee doesn't stop the fight before expiration of the second round. And then if you look at the footage, it's clear that the referee is counting the punch thrown after the end of the round. That can't be done. So, what you have here is a situation where a belt holder got fouled, right? Got hit with a punch after the end of a round. And as a result, lost his title. In my opinion, that's unjust. That needs to be undone. I don't think a fact finder has to make a determination on whether Rancis Barthelemy did it intentionally or did it accidentally. That's irrelevant. What is relevant is that it was done. Right? You cannot lose a fight this way, much less your title. Right? Rolling back the clock. I think we'd all agree. The Chavez versus Meldrick Taylor classic. That Chavez had to get a stoppage before the end of the last round. Right? Richard Steele famously stopped that fight with, let's say, a second left in the fight or whatever it was. Right? Very little time. Understand Richard Steele would not have the authority to stop the fight based on a punch that's not even thrown until after the end of the round. That's not the way boxing works, right? The end of the Broner, Maidana fight, Broner's last punch is after the end of the round, right? Had Broner knocked out Maidana with that punch, that fight would have still gone to the scorecards because that punch didn't count. Nor should this one thrown by Bartholomew. Right, so let's hope boxing does the right thing and reinstates Mendez as the champion. I don't care that Mendez looked like he was being beaten when the action was legitimate. Right, big deal. He had 12 rounds to defend his title, not two rounds. Right? What I care about is the fact that the punch that ended the fight didn't come while the fight was happening. It came after the bell. That's an illegal punch. Quite frankly, this, in my opinion, is an illegitimate outcome. Let me hear from you. Again, I've posted the video on my channel page here on YouTube. Right? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you think we should be considering some other dynamic. Right? You know, how good Bartholomew looked during regulation or what have you. Right? But to me, it's clear. Even though Teddy Atlas was excited on the telecast, that this ending is an illegal ending. Between rounds is exactly that. Between rounds. The fight's not happening after the bell sounds to end the round. That's a break in the fight. That's not the fight. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.